Hello and welcome to another Monkey's Motors video. Today I am going to be talking you through my camera setup, um, how I record my moto vlogs basically. So um, first off I will start by showing you how I've got my camera set up. So this is my helmet as some of you may recognise um, and I have gone for a Drift Ghost S as my camera of choice for making my moto vlogs. Um, the reason I did that was quite a shallow reason, I wanted it to look nice. So the drift is quite low profile, quite sleek, and it's black, so that's what I wanted out of a camera more than anything else. <laughs> um, um, whereas obviously you have the options like the GoPro, which are a bit more stylish looking nowadays, they come in nice black or silver, as always, but I don't know, they look a bit less Teletubby-ish nowadays, but um, I went for the drift as my main cam of choice. Um, and as you can see, I have gone for a top of the helmet mounting option. Um, you might be thinking I've done a horrendously bad job with the angle of this camera, but what you have to remember is this helmet on the table is not how it is on your head. Um, when you're wearing the helmet, it's much more in that position. And as you can see in this picture of me when I was out test riding the Ducati Monster, you can see that when I'm on the bike, the camera is completely level with the horizon, so I get a nice clear view. So the reason I went for the top mounted view over any of the other different types is, um, as you can see in this video, it gives you a very clear, wide open view of the road. Um, I can see everything in front of me, to the left, to the right, up, down, just gives you a nice wide open field of view with no obstructions. Um, obviously a lot of people, you can go for a side mount. But what you do there is in your videos you end up with about a third of the screen being lost because you just see the side of your helmet. Um, and then another thing people can do is a chin mount, which is a very good way of mounting, but it's not possible with a drift. The drift can only be stuck on the side or the top of something. You can't have it on the front, otherwise it would just be pointing straight up or straight down. So that is what I went for. Um, the issue with the nice top mounted clear view that you get from having it up on the top is it's a very impersonal view so again as you can see from the video you do only see the road you don't see any of my bike you don't see my arms so you know that video footage it could be anyone on a bike you don't know it's me um, that is the problem with the top mounted camera you don't you know you can't just see a snapshot and go oh I know who that is I recognize this bike oh I know those gloves um, it could be anyone so to get around that I um, bought a second camera which was the GoPro Hero, so the little £100 cheap GoPro um, and I have this mounted on my bike uh, when it stops raining I'll go outside and take a picture which you can see on the screen now of how it looks when it's on the bike and have it down on top of my brake fluid reservoir pointing at my face um, and as you can see from the video it kind of gives you a nice clear view of me so um, makes the video a bit more personal, you know, you're watching my videos and go, oh there he is, there's Dan, there's Monkey's Motors. I can wave to the camera and do all my hand gestures and, you know, give people the finger as need be. Um, and that all gets captured because of the GoPro, so um, I do find that adds a lot. So, if you're not fancying the dual camera setup, I think personally the best mounting option, if you want to kind of get that personal feel, as well as a nice clear view, is a chin mount. Um, and to do that you're going to need a GoPro really um, and one of these J hooks so sadly I can't have a front mount on my helmet because of the way the vent is I just can't stick it on but some helmets like my old helmet here it's in better days have a nice smooth front so you could stick on your GoPro mount and then have your GoPro stuck up under your chin facing forwards so then you get a pretty clear unobstructed view of the road um, and I also have the benefit of being able to see, you know, the rider's arms and the dash. Um, one downside, I guess, you know, it's a positive and negative being able to see the dash. It gives you that personalised touch. People know it's you. On the other hand, they can see your speedo. So if you ever accidentally break the law slightly, um, you will have just filmed yourself breaking the law. So you're going to have to blur out your speedo. Um, so on to the audio. Another reason I went with the drift was um, it was just a very straightforward you know it's got a normal audio jack at the back you just pop it in so 
you don't have to worry about having like micro USB to audio connectors like you do with the GoPros. Um, it's just a straight, simple, you know, plug and play. So I'm just using the standard drift mic that you can buy from their website. You know, their standard accessories. Um, and what I've done is it's quite a long cable. So as you can see, I don't need all this wire. So what I do is I wrap it around the mount on the top of my helmet to kind of take up the slack and slide it in the back. That's another thing I should mention with the orientation of my mount. Um, I've done it so that the camera slides back into the clip. So, you know, when the wind, when I'm riding along and the air is pressing into the camera, it's pressing it into the mount rather than pushing it out because, you know, these clips that hold it in, is, they're not, I can just take it out without using the finger grips now after, you know, I've had this over nearly two years now, so it's lost its elasticity, so it's very easy just to take out. So obviously, if I hadn't, if I mounted this the other way and I was riding along, the wind would just push the camera out and I'd be have a you know, very bad time. But the way I've mounted my microphone is I've run the wire down and it kind of goes into a little crease in the cheek pads. And then I think we'll swap camera angles for this. So yeah, strapped the GoPro to my head, stood up in front of the window for a bit better lighting, but have the microphone come out back of the camera, down the back of the helmet, goes into this little groove and then my cheap pads are completely removable. So I've just whipped them out, had it run underneath and I've actually buried it inside this cheap pad. See it's up there behind all that plastic mesh. So it's actually quite near up my up where my eye is in my helmet but it's completely covered so on the inside of the helmet the microphone is not visible in any way and it's behind all this cheap padding so I don't get any wind noise issues. So now that you've seen how you know I have my microphone wired up to cut down on wind noise and try to get as clear an audio as I can, um, we'll jump outside. Might be a little windy but let's hope the audio is not too bad and um, I'll show you how I have the GoPro set up on my bike and how I kind of sync my videos so that they match each other when I'm riding along. So this is how I have my GoPro set up on the bike facing my face and then every morning I have to come out with the old drift hold them in front of each other so looking eye to eye which this is incredibly hard to do holding a camera but you get the idea and then give it a little snap of the fingers in front of the lens which I'll show you what it looks like on screen and then I can trim the video so that both start at the second that my thumb hits my palm. Anyway, let's get back indoors. It's fucking freezing. Well then, I think that just about wraps up this video. Thank you for watching. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, if you've liked, remember to like and subscribe. And I'll um, see you next time.